did with the Drobo 5D is we started from the ground up and we built an entirely new Drobo platform. So while the outside shell looks very similar, the inside is, is completely new and different from the ground up. The Drobo 5D is the power machine for a lot of uh, creative professionals. It has the same advanced performance that we put into all the new Drobos, the ability to handle both hard drives and SSDs, the faster processor, a lot more memory, battery backup in the case of power failure, and support for Thunderbolt and USB. USB 3 and 2 Thunderbolt ports that allow you to not only have direct connectivity to the Drobo, but also allow you to daisy chain additional Thunderbolt devices. A lot of the devices out there today have a single Thunderbolt port, but the promise of Thunderbolt is not only high performance, but it's also daisy chaining multiple devices on the same high performance bus. In a lot of, uh, in a lot of more consumer focused arrays, it's thought of by some that it's okay to lose some data with the Drobo, we, we don't feel so. We have a battery inside the Drobo, then the PowerFell event, it actually protects everything that's in memory. We're in a transition period where the industry is slowly moving from spinning magnetic hard disk drives to solid state drives and flash media. Drobo's always been flexible with drive capacities. You can mix different drive sizes. Now you're not only able to do that, but you're also able to mix different types of drives with, with flash and SSDs right alongside your, inside your hard disk drive. So one of the cool features about the Drobo 5D is that there's a new bay underneath the unit on the bottom side of the unit we call the Drobo Accelerator Bay. The Drobo Accelerator Bay takes a new type of flash, it's called an MSATA SSD. So data wear tiering is a technology that we brought down from our business products, where we analyze the data coming into the system and place it on faster storage if it's data you really need to get quickly. So the big difference will be that we'll analyze the data you have on the Drobo and we'll pull things into the accelerator card that are very difficult for the magnetic disks to do. Big streaming transfers from, mag from magnetic disks are pretty easy to do. Small random access is very hard to do, but the SSDs don't have any penalty for random access, so they pull that data off much, much faster than the, than the hard disks. What I like to see is when I pull up my multi tens of thousands of photographs in thumbnail format, they appear instantaneously and don't take minutes to populate on my screen. I like to see a movie stream without jitter. Uh, I like to never have to wait, but it's significantly faster than any other product in the market today competitively because we're the only ones that can accommodate the performance acceleration of an SSD within our design. So the 5D uh, is primarily intended for media creators. We've really, that's been our target audience uh, when designing this new product from the ground up. People that require not only high capacity storage, but also high performance storage to meet their requirements when it comes to not only ingesting assets, but editing them in place, or even storing them long term.